Hey, welcome to my channel. Max is here with me today. Hi. Say hi, Max. My previous video in my puppy training series was about crate training your puppy's first night and creating a private space for your puppy. This video is going to be a continuation of your puppy's first night and crate training your puppy at night and throughout the night. It's really common that your puppy will cry and whine and bark when you place them in the crate, especially if you leave the area and walk away from the crate and leave your puppy alone. And this can make it really stressful to sleep through the night. However, it is most beneficial for your puppy to sleep in their crate at night and they should quickly get used to sleeping in their crate at night if you follow these steps. In my previous video that I already mentioned, I spoke about why crate training is so important and crate training is especially important at night so that your puppy stays in a safe area, doesn't have free roam of the room or your house and can't get into trouble and also crate training and sleeping in their crate at night really really speeds up the potty training process so your puppy learns to hold their bladder and to pee in appropriate areas like outside a lot quicker than if they aren't crate trained throughout the night. The first thing that you're going to want to do is make sure that your puppy is tired before you put them to bed. To do this, you need to make sure that your puppy is getting a lot of playtime and a lot of exercise and a lot of mental stimulation throughout the day, especially in the evening and before bedtime. You don't want them to nap throughout the evening or nap close to the time that you will be putting them to bed. You could do some little training or play some games with them before you put them to bed so that they are tired when it is time to go into the crate. Of course, your puppy will need lots of naps throughout the day, so you don't want to deprive your puppy of sleep. Sleep is really important and puppies do sleep a lot, but you also want to make sure that your puppy is tired right before you put them in the crate. The best way to do this is to just play with them for an extended period of time in the evening or right before you put them in their crate for bed. The next thing that you need to know is to never reward them for crying. I mentioned this in my previous video about crate training, but it's really important to say again, and a reward is letting them out, opening the door, giving them what they want. When they are whining, barking, crying, they want to be let out, and if you do this, when they are whining and crying, they will start to associate whining and crying with getting what they want. And this will lead into other areas of their life, all sorts of different things that you definitely don't want an older dog to do. You don't ever want to react to your puppy whining, barking, or crying when they are in the crate. So don't give them any attention at all when they do this. It can be really hard to not reassure them and you might think that they are in really stressed out and serious trouble if you feel that you need to let them out or if they are too stressed out, too anxious, and this just isn't going well for them and they're really having a hard time in the crate, you can let them out, of course, or you can check on them, but you need to wait for a pause in the whining and the crying or the barking. You need to wait for just a second of calmness, which will happen, they will do, even if it's just for one second. You wait for that and then you make your move, then you go and open the crate. They might start up again really quick before you can even get there, but it's important that you wait for that pause before you move towards or make any action or show your puppy any attention. Over time, that wait and that pause will lengthen. This is a gradual process and you need to remain patient throughout it. Just think of all the benefits that will happen from crate training and having your puppy sleep in a crate throughout the night. You also never want to scold or punish your puppy. The only way to deal with crying and whining is to completely ignore it and wait for that pause to reward the pause, even if it's just for a tiny little second. Even when your puppy is relaxed and quiet and sleeping in the crate, you will need to, in the middle of the night, take them out for at least one potty break. So you will need to wake up in the middle of the night and take them out. You will need to do this until your puppy is about 12 weeks old because it is impossible for a puppy to hold their bladder throughout the night. Around nine weeks old, you will probably need to take your puppy out twice during the night maybe every two or three hours. After 12 weeks of age, you can start to take them out maybe every four hours. So once a night would be good for this age of puppy. 
Of course, every dog is different. Get to know your puppy and you can adjust what works best for you and your dog. When you do wake them up or take them out for this potty break, you need to make sure that your puppy knows that this isn't a time for playing, this isn't a time for cuddles or attention, this is strictly business. You wanna take them out as quickly and calmly and effortlessly as possible and go right back to bed. You want it to be short and quick. You don't want to talk to your puppy at all. You don't want to give them any sort of attention. They most likely will be really playful when you wake them up. Just ignore that, get them to do their business and take them in and put them back in their crate. They will soon learn that these potty breaks at night are only for going to the bathroom and nothing else. Also make sure that your puppy has gone to the washroom before you put them to bed and don't feed them too close to bedtime. Make sure that they have a few hours before bed after eating. For the first few nights, you will want to keep the crate right beside your bed in a place where your puppy can maybe hear you, smell you, maybe even see you. This will help them feel a lot more comfortable than just being put in a crate in another room away from you. After your puppy is more comfortable in the crate and doesn't whine or bark and appears stressed with the crate, you can move it to another location. During the day, you should also be working on making the crate a really fun place to be, a place that your puppy enjoys going to by maybe feeding them in the crate or giving them treats to go in the crate and leaving the crate door open and off so they can go in and out as they please. For some dogs, sleeping in a crate doesn't work. With the door closed, you may want to have them able to access the crate and have a X pen or a play pen or some sort of smaller enclosed area that has pee pads and take out all toys that they can access so they can go in the crate if they wish or they can come out and sleep beside it but they're still in a very enclosed area a very small area so they don't have free run of the house over time if you want them to sleep in the crate they will probably naturally just go inside the crate themselves in general, if you are not having your puppy sleep overnight in a crate, you don't want to leave a young puppy about eight or nine weeks old in a crate for longer than around half an hour, an hour at the very most. Around 11 to 14 weeks, you can extend the time to an hour to three hours at the very most. Around 15, 16 weeks, you can extend that even longer. And then at 17 weeks, they can stay in for around four hours or even longer. Just make sure that every time before you put them in the crate and when you take them out, expect to play with your puppy and expect to give your puppy a lot of attention. They will have a lot of energy when they come out because they've been sleeping for so long. And before you put them in, you really want to tire them out so that they look forward to this rest and this sleep. I hope you enjoyed this video and in the next video, I will be talking about relationship building and how you can really build the bond, some activities that you can do with your puppy during the first few weeks and even up to a year. I will also be talking about potty training and these relationship building activities are really great at laying the foundation of training and getting your puppy to be really set up for success in future training and doing more obedience type training. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.